up guys welcome back to my channel you want to join me <laughs> i'm joined by a very special guest miss rue i had to film this video at home so i didn't give away any secrets but this is my long awaited new york city apartment tour and she's out i'm gonna give you guys the whole lay down but my current situation at this moment is i have moved into an apartment one of the apartments that you're gonna see i am so happy it was quite the process of getting the apartment but i'm in and i could not be happier with my choice i have so much moving content for you guys i've actually already edited two vlogs so make sure you subscribe if you want to see moving content i'm going to be decorating my apartment and just making it perfect and a home and i'm so excited for you guys to see all those videos because they're really fun so make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss any of that. I'm gonna start with just catching you guys up on what my last apartment was because it kind of informed the search and which apartment I chose. My previous apartment was my first New York apartment. So I've lived in New York for now a full year. We were both paying under 2K a month and that was with three months free. I lived in the East Village with one of my best friends as my roommate, JC. We had a huge amount of outdoor space, but we never really used it because I found that when it was a beautiful day outside, I didn't want to just sit on my deck. I wanted to get out in the city and take advantage of that. So outdoor space became kind of at the bottom of my list. We did have a doorman and it was amazing. So going into the search, that was something that I really wanted to prioritize. In the space, we had a home office kind of den area, which ended up not really getting used. I think it was kind of an afterthought. We ended up storing stuff in there. So definitely don't need more space or rooms than I would use because I just don't use them. It's kind of a good lesson. And we had a dishwasher in unit, which was amazing. And laundry was actually kind of best case scenario. It wasn't in our unit, but it was literally like the next door down to our apartment in the hallway. So it wasn't noisy. It was never really used because there was one on every floor. It was great. The reason that we decided to move out of that apartment because it was a great apartment was we both were just in the financial situation and kind of like life moments where it made sense to both live by ourselves. So we took that opportunity to kind of move out. Still great friends. I get a lot of questions about that. And it was just a good time to move. Very amicable, easy, just moving to the next stage, which was living by ourselves. So when I was looking for a new spot, I knew I wanted to set a budget before I started looking for things. Generally, the rule is you shouldn't be spending more than 30% of your income on rent, which to me seems like a huge amount of money. Um, and when I think about my priorities in life, I wouldn't say that one third of my financial priorities is where I live. So I wanted to be way under that 30% mark. So when I started looking, I wanted to look around 2.5. Um, I was open to a studio, so that kind of makes it a little bit lower than a one bedroom. Um, started the hunt at 2.5 and very quickly learned that for what I wanted, you guys will see, I'm gonna give you prices of the apartments. It was so much more expensive than I wanted to pay. So I ended up raising my budget to around four or five, which I really did not want to do, but kind of decided that if I want to be comfortable and just what was out there in the market, I had to raise it. And I'm luckily in a financial position um, where I would completely support myself, but just ugh, there you have it. That was my range. Last thing, I used Street Easy solely for my apartment search. There's Zillow, there's apartment.com, Facebook Marketplace. I don't know how trustworthy that is, but tons of options, but just the user interface of Street Easy and just keeping it all in one platform was the easiest for me. So I just use Street Easy for my search. Okay, so now what I was actually looking for in an apartment. So I had two different levels of qualifications. One of the levels was things that would be nice to have. So I wasn't filtering my searches by this, 
but I would keep an eye out for it. And the second list was my must-haves. I did not want to budge on these. It was things that I learned about myself in the last apartment or just safety, security. That was going to stay the same. So my first must-have was natural light. My previous apartment with my roommate was north-facing, which meant that we didn't get any sunlight. We were completely also shadowed in because we were kind of on the inside of our building. I'm very light sensitive and it just was not good for me to live in an apartment without any sun. So that was number one must have for me. The second must have was the location. So under 14th street and above financial district, I was more flexible east to west because I love the West Village, but all of my closest friends and family now are in the east sides. The third must have was a doorman. And this, I quickly learned, had to shift to the next category, which would be nice to have just because it's really hard finding a doorman building in my budget um, with natural light. So I had to move that to the nice to have. Some of the apartments did have great alternatives. Okay, in the nice to have, I'll go down this quickly. Number one would be a lot of storage or a walk-in closet. I was spoiled with a walk-in closet at my last apartment and I have a lot of stuff, so didn't want to have to worry about that. Nice to have would also be a one bedroom. I knew that if I wanted to stay on the lower end of my budget, it would be a studio, but it'd be great to have a one bedroom and not sleep in my kitchen. <laughs> Next, nice to have would be a washer in unit. This really didn't bother me about my last apartment that I didn't have it, but I knew that I would love it if I did find an apartment that had a washer in unit. Next would be a dishwasher, an elevator also. I don't mind walk-ups, but just with like deliveries and groceries and whatever, elevators are nice to have. My last nice to have would be not being in the East Village. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the East Village, but I just don't know how many opportunities I'm gonna have to move around the city. Um, and I just wanted to experience different parts of the city, so if I found a great apartment in the East Village, I would be totally happy with that. But I was cautious to kind of look outside and venture out just so I could experience living in different areas. We're gonna get into the apartments and do pros and cons of each. I'm gonna try to go quickly. This first apartment was $4,500 roughly. Pros, doorman, 24 seven doorman, amazing location and the windows were unbelievable. It was almost floor to ceiling windows and the ceilings were probably, I don't know, 25 feet. And it wasn't south facing, which is the sunniest side, but the windows were big enough where it let in enough natural light where I was fine with that. And it was also cool that they had built a loft space so it utilized the space a little bit better. I'd be able to use that space as a work area or a workout spot or whoever I wanted to use that. Cons was there was so many maybes when it came to the space and it was kind of for like the best parts of the unit. One of them was that they might be redoing the floors. I really didn't like the floors and it was a co-op so it'd be really hard to get that approved. The next maybe was the roof deck. So apparently there was this phenomenal roof deck but they were redoing it. I've lived in apartments where it wasn't ready yet when I moved in and it ended up taking way longer so I've learned my lesson. And the last maybe was they didn't even know if they'd be able to get the windows to open. So you have like this magnificent feature and you might not be able to get fresh air in the apartment because of the windows. Next con is the kitchen appliances were really outdated and kind of gross and they had no plans of updating those. Next con, even though the unit was really high up, the unit was still really loud. You could literally hear like conversations on the street because of the windows. It was only single paneled, so there wasn't much noise reduction. The window covers would be a ton of money. That would be an additional amount to the rent. The apartment is also a strange shape, so furniture would be a little bit more difficult. Might have to get some custom pieces, which also is more expensive. The next three units that I saw were in the same building. It went from 42 to 45. So just about the building in general, the pros were that the location is phenomenal. Like probably my dream location. There's laundry in building and last pro is there's a 24 seven doorman. The first unit pros was there was a ton of closet space and it was the biggest unit that I saw in the building. 
The cons was there was no dishwasher and there was really no view when so many units in the building had a spectacular view. The next unit, biggest pro was the view. It was amazing and the windows are also gorgeous in all of these units. The con was there was really low storage space, which was especially bad because it was a very small studio. So there just wouldn't have been that much space for my stuff. Last unit pros, the view was amazing. There was also even like a mini patio, which the broker said was really rare in this building for a smaller unit to have a patio. And there was a full length built in mirror, which was gorgeous. The cons of this last one was this was teeny tiny and you literally were like sleeping in the kitchen. There was no room in the kitchen. It was just kind of, I think it's called a galley kitchen, but it was in the studio, so just not ideal living. The fifth apartment that I saw was actually really interesting because when I was looking on a map, I was like, this is an amazing location. I'm so excited about this. That's why I went to see the unit was the location. And then that ended up being the biggest downside, which I will get to. The pros was there was so much space. It was a giant unit. There was like a full kitchen, a living room, outdoor space, hallway, big bathroom, and the room was great size. So it felt like at least compared to what I'd seen, it was most worth the 4,200. Another pro was the outdoor area. It was a great space and next to where the walls that were built up outside, there was another huge patio for the whole building. So if I wanted to have more people over, it'd be really easy to just have a ton of space there. The windows were huge and the last pro is that there was a part-time doorman, but that takes me to my cons that it was only a part-time doorman and the times that the doorman wasn't there is exactly when you would want them to be there, which was like after 4 p.m. and on weekends. This is because the street that it was on ended up being really sus. It just gets really kind of crazy at night and I've been there and it's just not like a scene that I would feel comfortable walking alone at going to my apartment and also packages I think get stolen from there a lot. Another con was they were not flexible with the start date. So when I was looking, I would have to pay an additional month, which is pretty typical. I mean, if they want a start date at a certain time, but that was a lot of money to kind of eat that while I was still paying other rent. And the last con was there was no direct sunlight. So there were still big windows, but didn't have that south facing. I think it was actually north facing. All right, that leads me to apartment number six. This apartment was 3,500 a month. The pros was that there was a really good video intercom system, and this was kind of the best solution to not having a doorman that I'd seen. There was an elevator. It was a beautiful elevator in a really well-kept building. There was a live-in super in the building, which I would say is kind of common. Like 50% of the buildings that I saw had a live-in super. It was a one bedroom. There was exposed brick. It was painted white, but still love a good brick wall. There was laundry in unit, which was fantastic. And probably the best part about this apartment was the rooftop. You had an amazing view, a really great entertaining space. Also, they had table and chairs. Cons, there was no in-person doorman. There was no natural light and it was facing into a building pretty close, so it would be a pretty dark unit. And the last con was that it was in the East Village, which again, I was willing to negotiate, but it wasn't like exciting to me that I was in the East Village. All right, number seven. This one was interesting. So I saw three different units in the building. First unit was 4,000. The second unit was 4,100 and the third unit was 4,200. Instead of talking about the unit, I'm just gonna talk about the pros and cons of the building as a whole and you will see why. A pro was that it was a new build, so it was modern. A lot of people love that, great. But to me, that was a con. First of all, I just don't like the feeling of new builds. It's really hard for me to make a new build feel like homey and comfortable. And as I said before, I've had really bad experiences where they say something is gonna be done and it's just not. I literally in college had to live in a hotel for two months because of this same situation and this building was still being built. So that kind of worried me. Next pro was there was amazing amenities like a sauna and a steam room and a really high-end gym. But the cons was that you had to pay an additional fee to use those amenities. I think it actually was gonna be waived for the first tenants, 
but again that's not a good feeling i feel like there's a reason that they wave it and it's probably that it's just not ready yet the next pro was it was in the lower east side i love the lower east side but the con was that the street specifically that it was on gets really busy at night and again just not somewhere that i would feel that safe living and the last pro was there's a doorman but the con is it's a part-time doorman again not there at nights or on the weekends when you would want a doorman there. This next apartment was by far the least expensive at $2,700. When I saw this come up on Street Easy, I jumped on it. I think I was the second person to see this unit. Pros, it was inexpensive compared to the other apartments that I saw. So I was excited about that. Next pro was the area was one of my favorite parts of the city. Another pro was it was south facing. So it wasn't directly south. I don't know if it was southwest or southeast, but it did get direct sunlight. And that was the only unit that I'd seen up to that point that had direct sunlight. And the last pro was there was a 24 hour doorman. The cons was there was no dishwasher. Another con was the only closet that I saw was a pretty big spot, but the second closet was locked by the owner and I had no idea how big the closet was. So it was kind of a gamble. And the last con was the decorations just wasn't something that I vibed with. And it sounds kind of silly, but it's really hard to imagine an apartment when there's furniture or staging. That feels really different because furniture really changes the space. This next apartment was $4,000 a month. It was in a really great area. It was a new build, but they were almost done. I think they really only had to install like the dishwasher. Next pro was there was only four units in the building. So all of the other units had gone. This was the only one still in the market, um, but it felt safer because there wasn't a doorman but it felt safer knowing that there was only four groups that would be going in and out. The next pro was there was pretty good light. And last pro was the windows and the bathroom were just beautiful. Like they were, whoever designed the building did a really good job just choosing high end appliances and parts because it looked really beautiful and it was a new build that I actually like kind of vibed with a bit more. Last pro was there was roof access. It's kind of one of those like sketchier ones that you're not really supposed to go up, but you could and it was a beautiful view. Cons was it was a fourth floor walk up, which isn't the end of the world, but the stairs were pretty steep. A bit more expensive for having no doorman, which again was fine, but there wasn't even a virtual doorman, so I don't know. And we have made it to the last unit. This one was 3,800. Pros to this building, there was a 24 hour doorman, the unit itself, the ceilings were really tall, which was really nice and it made the space feel a lot better. The storage was unbelievable. I've never seen so many closets with like built in shelves in my life and it's crazy to have that in New York. The kitchen was separate from the room. So even though it was a studio, you weren't like sleeping in your kitchen. So that felt kind of good to have that separate. Next pro was there was apparently roof access, but I didn't get to see it and I will explain why. And finally, the location was pretty good. It wasn't like perfection like some of the other ones, but it was still a great area. Cons, the biggest con, which is really just such a shame, was the broker was so rude. I explained something about my situation and she just started turning off all the lights and interrupting me and didn't show me the roof because of it and was just really turned off by the way that she handled the situation and i don't know next that I actually have to do with the building is it looked into office buildings so even though there were these beautiful large windows, you were looking directly into office buildings, which didn't feel like you'd have that much privacy. And last, the kitchen just wasn't really like my style, but it still was separate. So it was like fine. You guys have been very patient and we've made it to the end. I believe that was 12 apartments. So now your task is guessing which apartment I went with. 
one of these apartments I'm currently living in and I could not be happier. Leave your guesses in the comments below and early next week, probably on Monday or Tuesday, I will have the first vlog up which has an empty apartment tour and you will figure out which one I chose. Bye. Oh, would you put your head on?